Hey, uh, thanks to the person who made the Steam Guide for modding gems and Mamagre for talking me through this on Discord. I was actually able to make a really fun custom gem. Now, you can obviously just make really broken stuff. You can give yourself like 90% attack speed and like 5,000 strength and stuff like that. But what I made instead is, uh, you can see here, I have slow for plus 10 seconds during a counter and during a guard break. What that means is it's basically going to be witch time. And then for the third slot, I put the wind fire wheels just so I have an extra slot because, you know, if you play this game at a high level or you try to play at a high level, <laughs> uh, you pretty much always want to have that accessory on, so I want to just free up a slot. And then the final one is the drop rate. I put it at 200%. And what that does is makes it so that Lord Gems drop far more often. I think I got some pretty good ones last time. Anyway, I'm gonna skip the formalities here and get straight into it. So first, I'll show this on some bandits, so you can see them, the uh, the witch time. Now it is pretty complicated to do this. Uh, it took me like half an hour to do one gem. I imagine if I went and did it again, it probably would take like half the time. But I didn't want to make anything broken. The only thing I really wanted to do right now is just make it so that the Lord gems drop faster, so that I can do optimization without just straight up cheating. You know, I'm just trying to just brute force the RNG right now. But if you want to just straight up cheat and make really broken builds, you actually can do that. Uh, there are some attributes like the Witch Time that are in the game, but they don't seem to work. So we don't know if they're like dummy data or what, but a few of them do work, so I'm going to go ahead and show some right now. Let's get this guy to uh, do a counter. You get more counter prompts than you did when this game came out, but sometimes it's still pretty stingy. There we go. We've got dollar store witch time right here. That's how the witch time works. Let me see if I can get the guard break to work as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link to the guide. Uh, I have to warn you, it's not for the faint of heart. It might take some time to get used to, but it does work. I tested out the drop rate. For the most part, it does work. I tried to increase it like really high. I tried to like really jack it up, but it seems to just uh, not work past a certain point. So right now I have it on 200%, and that seems to increase the amount that the uh, Lord Gems drop. I was actually able to get like one or two of them to drop off uh, an Assault Captain, which is basically an unnamed generic officer. Let me see if I can get on the block. Uh, I had him right there. Alright, he counted the same thing. Alright, so let me get to a battle really quick. I have a feeling they're going to make it so that uh, we can use the witch time and stuff later on, so for now I'm just going to keep it the way it is because it's fun. It adds a new dynamic to doing the same thing over and over. <laughs> You can also do it off an assault attack, but I decided to not have that because I don't want witch time on all the time. I want it to feel special, kind of like, you know, real witch time, and it's not supposed to be something that's on all the time. It's supposed to feel satisfying when you get it, so I try to keep it somewhat balanced. You actually do have to combo differently uh, while you're in witch time, just like, you know, the real witch time, so... 
It definitely adds a new uh, dynamic to how you can play the game. Yeah, of course now it's not dropping gems, but it's supposed to be uh, increasing the drop rate. There we go, there's a gem. You can see he dropped the diamond too, so the drop rate definitely is increased, it's just it's not gonna always be the same thing. So let me fight some uh, some name generics out here and see maybe I can prove that the drop rate is increased. Like I said, I tried to increase it more and it seems to have messed it up a bit, so I may need to uh, hex edit another gem. Let's try this crowd out here. Nope. And you can see that things are dropping far more often, it's just it's still not dropping the uh the Lord Gems, unfortunately. Yeah, see, he dropped a book of Muso, a diamond, and the Ice Lord gem, so there's your proof that it works. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and take out the UA Jin here and that'll be the end of the video. I just wanted to show the uh, the witch time and increased drop rate. Unfortunately, the uh, the hex values are different every time you boot up the game, so it seems like it's not possible or like, very improbable for someone to make a cheat engine table, so you'll have to do it yourself. But there's a guide uh, that's going to be in the description, you can follow that, and you can make whatever gem you want, pretty much. Now, I have a feeling that they're gonna make it uh, easier to control what's on the gems later on. So I didn't want to go too crazy, I just wanted something to kind of spice up the farming while I work on maximization for you guys. I was honestly getting kind of burnt out, that's why I've been playing Gunvolt and stuff like that. <laughs> I just got tired of doing this over and over and getting nothing. But now there's a much uh, higher chance for them to drop stuff, so it's helped. Yeah, he dropped a pretty good amount of stuff there. 
So I don't know if this is just placebo or not, but it seems like I'm getting better gems for having the drop rate up. So maybe having the drop rate up actually does increase the quality or improve the quality of the gems. Now don't quote me on that, but I've, I've done this twice and I, I seem to have been getting a, a much uh, higher chance of like higher quality gems than before where sometimes you could get the gem to drop and it would just be complete junk. It doesn't seem to be happening as much anymore, so it might be some... Uh, some credence or some credit to the fact that when we're running with three fine bear claw charms that actually does seem to be increasing the quality if you have like two or one or none maybe that uh, determines uh, whether the gems are junk or not as well anyway that's my little video uh, thanks to Mawagre thanks to the person who made the guide on the steam forums I'm gonna go ahead and link to that page so you can go there and you can try it out if you want all you need is cheat engine cheat engine is pretty easy to get so you can just get that and follow the tutorial. You can make pretty much whatever you want. There are certain things that don't work. Some of the juicy ones, I believe, I have a theory that they are dummy data, meaning that uh, they exist in the game, but they don't work properly. So uh, unfortunately, a lot of the more interesting ones don't work, but some of them do, like the witch time. So I have a feeling the witch time will be added later on. I, I hope so. It definitely does spice up the combat quite a bit. It makes the counters more satisfying. I think the counters are kind of boring in the current state. All you get off it is just a generic launch, and... There's not that many area options in this game to begin with, but when you get Witch Time off a counter, it makes them a lot more satisfying, so hopefully they'll add that in the near future. Anyway, hope this helps. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.